Hello. <laughs> I guess uh, it's been a little while, so let me explain kind of sort of what happened. I mean, it really hasn't been that long for you guys. It's only been about like a week, I think, since I haven't uploaded. But I'm super late on all of my battles, and I kind of wanted to give you a little explanation. And since this is the first video that's going back up, uh, might might be Jay's ICP because that's week three and this is week four. So currently, I'm two and zero. Oh. I don't know about the rest of the season. Like, I don't know about my week three because I haven't played it, but. Uh, so my uncle passed away, which you guys know was very difficult. Uh, we then moved, uh, to a completely new house. I have my own house now. I'm in my own area, which is why the room sounds a little bit different. There's a little bit more of an echo, uh, cause there's no furniture in here yet. So hopefully there will be soon. Uh, but, uh, and then whenever we were moving, I threw my back out. So like there was just like a constant crap shoot of falling down on me um so you guys are going to be seeing some a little bit different content for the draft league stuff like i had my buddy team knots tv play uh, a game for me so i'm going to be doing like a live reaction to that all that sort of fun stuff but let's go ahead and hop into icp because this is week four this is going to be my undefeated season right this is going to be the season that's what i'm aiming for i'm aiming to do what jay did in low tier but in regular <laughs> so um yeah i don't know how week three went so if i lost week three then ignore all of that but um we're going up against ball hawk he is a replacement coach for the guy who had number two so let, let's just recap something real quick i offered guy number one and guy number two in the draft twenty dollars to not take urshifu single strike guy number one gets is no longer here Guy number two then drops. So I offered two people $20 a piece to not take Urshifu single strikes. That way I could use it for once and then they both end up dropping the league. You mean to tell me that y'all couldn't just be homies and let me have Urshifu? I'm not mad, you know, I'm just disappointed. <laughs> so this week we're going up against Ballhawk who uh, made a bunch of transactions, right? And realistically he shouldn't be able to use them, but I told him he could. So that's totally cool. I was like, hey man, I haven't really prepped yet because of everything with my uncle. You can go ahead and use them and I'll just prep with your new team. So he gets to use a team that he's more comfortable with. He's more excited to use and I get to and I get to fight some hopefully new mons uh, with a really interesting team. So uh, he has Dragapult, Terrakion, Jirachi, Volcarona, Azumarill, uh, Drapion, Serena, Articuno, Stunfisk, and Lickitung. Now there are some really good Pokemon on this draft. Uh, Drapion, Serena, Terrakion, Jirachi. I love all these Pokemon. Azumarill is my favorite water type if you did not know. Actually, you know it's uh it's Vaporeon then Azumarill but so a lot of really good Pokemon on this draft but the difficult thing about this draft is there's so much pressure within the top five mons that whatever he brings along with the top five mons uh it's gonna be really difficult for me to handle whether it's Drapion whether it's Serena I don't really think Articuno is gonna come because I think I have a lot of ways of dealing with it um but just in general, very, very difficult for me to handle all of his team. But uh, I wanted to kind of sort of give it a little bit of spice <laughs> this week with the team. So uh, I decided to bring Rain Seismitoad. Now, before you guys get in the comments with your, your with your Pepe G's and whatnot saying that I'm not even bringing Mew, I will explain that. But I wanted to go with uh, Seismitoad with Rain this week as the win con for one reason and one reason only. His entire team is very, very weak to dual stab. In fact, dual stab hits everything for at least neutral damage and hits the vast majority of the team or even harder than that if you add in the coverage move of Poison Jab. The only thing I don't hit for super effective damage is Dragapult. But... Earthquake is still doing over 50%. And then if you go down the list, Liquidation, Earthquake, Liquidation, Poison Jab, Earthquake, Poison Jab, and then like Liquidation, Liquidation, Liquidation. Like very, very, very strong, hard-hitting moves. So I really wanted to go with uh, an offensive size material this week. I have enough uh, speed to be able to outspeed Choice Scarf, Terrakion in rain, I believe. It might be Choice Scarf, Dragapult. I don't really know uh, anymore if I'm being 100% honest with you. Uh, but that is that was the goal that I really wanted to go for. Might actually, I might actually also be Choice Scarf Dragapult. Um, do I? I built this team a very long time ago. No, I do not. In case you're wondering, no, I do not. That's been chosen in the rain, only it's 266. Yeah, I don't outspeed it. I outspeed Terrakion, that's what I was going for. Um, so yeah, so that is the Seismitoad, and I wanted to have a uh, backup rain setter that wasn't the thing that I was trying to sweep with, so I went with Thunderous as an offensive weather setter, as well as being able something like something being able to take 
advantage of the range. So we've got Rain Dance, Thunder, Weather Ball, and U-Turn. Now this hits his team also stupid freaking hard, right? Anything that I don't want to hit with Electric plus Water Coverage, I want to U-Turn out on. So uh, very, very good. And if he brings Stun Fisk again to check my Thunderous, because that's what Danny did week one, uh, I have ways of beating it. So that was the goal here. Now with this, uh, I'm very, very worried about Volcarona. Volcarona can sweep me very, very easily. If it's sub quiver dance roost, uh, it, don't, it only needs one coverage move uh, because it can just like take out one thing and it's good. Whether it's bug buzz, whether it's flamethrower, something along those lines, uh, it is able to sweep me if it gets rid of one of my Pokemon, primarily being my, um, my Dragalge. So I wanted to create a P2 set that did not lose to sub roost quiver dance mono attacking move Volcarona, while also not losing to Quiver Dance Roost to attacks Volcarona. Um, so I came up with this. Uh, foul Play, Psy Shock, Psych Up, and Recover. Psych Up is to allow it to set up whatever it wants to. If it wants to set up to plus two, great, do it. But once it sets up to plus two, if it is not max HP, max defense, I'm doing more than 50% with Psy Shock. It cannot sub up and roost up and Quiver Dance up and beat me 1v1. If it gets up to plus three, I'm definitely beating it 1v1 because Psyshock is doing a whole crap ton of damage. I can also out recover stall it if it is that uh, if it is that set. So uh, very, very, very good Pokemon because if it goes for Quiver Dance, I'm gonna be getting the Spadef boost alongside of it. It's definitely not gonna be doing that much damage. So this will be my main Volcarona check, but I also wanted to have a backup Volcarona check that also did a couple of other things. So I went with this Dragalge set with a max HP, 116 into attack, 148 into spadef, careful nature. Also, I think that the EVs are pretty self-explanatory, like the speed, max attack, rest in HP with defense, enough speed for base 100s. I didn't outspeed Terrakion with this, um, but you know, I have this and this in the back that I'll show you. Um, max spadef, because that's what I need in order to be able, if I somehow let this Volcarona set up to plus five in front of me. I wanted to be able to take a plus five move into a neutral move. That, that was what the, the spadef is for. And then the 12 special attack investment to be able to have Psyshock do a little bit more. Uh, so this has enough attack investment to always be able to do 50% to a max HP Volcarona with Gunk Shot. I also have Flip Turn and Haze in case they're in case they are like Sub Quiver Dance and they are Mono Psychic, which I think would be the worst thing that they could be. But I can get rid of it. I have the Pyopa Berry to be able to live, and then I can just Dragon Tail Haze Gunk Shot Flip Turn. That's kind of the the goal with this set was to be able to just pressure Volcarona if it's not a subset. If it is a subset, it's going to be P2. If it's not a subset, it's going to be Vol uh, Dragalge. Next up, we have Zarude. This is more than likely going to be my win con because Choice Scarfed is kind of just how I could see myself winning this in the late game by spamming either Grass, Darkest Area, Rockside, or U-Turn. Probably not U-Turn. Uh, Power Whip, Darkest Area to Rockside, more than likely. But uh, very, very good Pokemon. I have enough speed to be able to outspeed uh, base 100s, uh, the Jirachi, the Volcarona. Uh, and if I'm able to limit Volcarona to one Quiver Dance, no matter what, I'm good. So. Uh, yeah, very, very good. And then this Scizor is going to be doing a lot. <laughs> Realistically, it's going to be there to help me check the Drapion. It's going to be there to help me check the Azumarill. I went with max defense because I needed it in order to be able to live two liquidations, I believe, from um, Bandit Azu. And then have Bullet Punch do a lot of damage and then just a little bit in bulk. Nothing too special. But uh, the big things I'm proud of are these first three. This is going to be the unique thing that I'm hoping will catch him off guard, but specifically the P2 and the Seismitoad. But with that, let's go ahead and hop right over to the battle. <sighs> okay. This feels so weird because I'm in my own house for my first battle ever. We are going up against Ballhawk. And super nice guy. I was just in call with him for about 30 minutes or so, setting up like land mode and his Elgato and everything like that. So make sure you guys go check him out. Super genuine dude. And you know, I only say go check people out if I mean go check people out, you know? If my audio sounds a little bit like echoey, it's because I'm in a room with no furniture <laughs> because we just moved. Um, but yeah, I would like to do a little bit of a life update video here pretty soon, but I'm super excited. I'm in my own house. Like, it just feels good, man. I'm super excited, but okay. I'm going to take a picture, even though I know that the six that we have on screen is correct. I just like to do it. So um, this is a little bit of a weird situation for me because I really like a lot of what I have, um, but he brought a couple of different rockers. He brought like... 
Uh, like, Jirachi as a rocker is pretty good. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to lead off with my bug. Because I believe I do take a fire punch. I will double check that. Even if there's Scarf. Scizor from a Jirachi if it is Choice Scarf. I'm going to do this now so I don't waste time then. Fire Punch. I do tank one. And then I can not really roost up easily, but I can get off a lot of damage with um, with U-Turn. So. I'm super nervous. This is my first game in my new house. I'm super nervous. I hope I don't hope I don't choke. <laughs> okay. Black screen of death. Can you not? Por favor. Por favor. Don't black screen of death me, please. Black screen of death. No. Excuse me. Hey, no black screen of death this time. Let's get it. Sriracha, I love that nickname. That's a phenomenal nickname, brother. Only way this thing kills me is if it's banded. I'm just going to click U-turn. Like, trick? Okay. You know, I'm actually kind of okay with that. I'm actually kind of okay with that because, like, my scissor is still, like, very, very offensive. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my monkey. I'm going to go into my monkey. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to click rock slide. Actually, no, I'm going to click U-turn. Because, like, I don't think this thing is going to stay in, but I also think that if they go into anything, it's going to be Drapion. Yeah, okay. This is more so what I was expecting. And now my Scizor versus Drapion. U-turn is doing about 40%. I'm just going to do that. Now, I'm doing this specifically because I want to get a nice, fat U-turn off on this thing. Let's see if he's Black Sludge. He is not. I'm going to click U-turn. I do live a Fire Fang. Um, and I guess there's a chance that we outspeed him, too, if he's, like, super bulky. But he says a Petit Spike, which is fine. I'm going to go directly into my Dragalgy. I'm going to get rid of this thing immediately. Uh, I don't really want to deal with it too much. Nice, fat hit. We will go into Dragalgy. So, and what I'm going to do here is in order to um, kind of like expect the Earthquake, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into um, my Thunderclap, my Cheeks. <laughs> I love that nickname. I love that nickname. Now, I we could see a Jirachi come out, which... This could also be a good play for a Jirachi coming out. Um, the only bad thing would be is if he goes for Knock, but I don't really see Knock happening. Uh, I see Earthquake happening. Because um, I don't think he's going to want to let this thing take a Draco Meteor without... Oh, he does click Knock. That's unfortunate. Okay. So what I'm going to do here, I think... Click U-Turn... That is very unfortunate, to say the least. Uh, it's not the worst, but it's definitely not the best. Okay. I think what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go into my Scizor. I'm going to click U-Turn again. I'm glad I kept my Pyapa Berry on my Seahorse and I didn't try to switch it out. But, um... But yeah. So now Scizor, U-turn should kill this thing. If he goes into his Volcarona, that is still fine. Uh, because I do have my, not like Wincon, but my backup check to it being my um, Seismitoad. My Seismitoad actually looks really, really good if I can get Rain up. 
If he goes into Volcarona on my U-turn, I'm going to go into my Dragalge anyway. I'm going to absorb the T-Spike. Um, just don't burn me, please. Like, that would be much less than ideal. Just don't burn me, please. Thank God. Woo. Okay. Now we do this. And we click Gunk Shot because that to Volcarona did a lot. Like that U-turn did a lot. I actually did about what's a really physically defensive set. Um, so I'm gonna click Gunk Shot. Good play, very good play. Very good play. I wish I'd clicked flip turn. Would have been really nice to get a little bit of momentum off of that. I'm going to go into my duck, I think. No, I think I'm going to keep that alive. I'm going to go into my scissor. Body slam. Don't do this to me, sir. Don't do this to me. This sucks. <laughs> um, I'm going to go into my Thunderous, I think. Expecting the Iron Head. Because I can take two of them, depending on his investment. And I can set up the Rain. And then start clicking Button. Okay, this is good, right? Man, if I clicked U-turn there, I was in such a good position. Um, I'm gonna set up the rain. Because like, a poison jab would hurt. But knockoff is going to do significantly less because I've already gotten my boots knocked. And now I think Weather Ball is this. Actually, no, Thunder. Yeah, Thunder. I just kill something here. And if he tries to go into Articuno, my Thunder is doing 59 to 70, which is really, really good. My out of range of Ice Shard. I don't outspeed um, Terrakion with this, which is really bad. Just realized I didn't EV it for that. Okay, that could be a little bit of an issue. That could be a little bit of an issue. I think what I'm gonna have to do, if he goes into Volcarona, no, he goes into Jirachi. Thunderous. Thunder is doing 52 to 61, but I would really like to keep this thing around. I have 36. I'm at 22. Iron Head definitely kills me if they're max attack. I need to keep this thing around. Unfortunately, I have to keep this thing around. Because I need to be able to set up rain with priority in order to win with my Seismitoad. So the Iron Head. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to play slightly aggressive and I'm going to go into my Zarud. Because I do need to keep this thing around to be able to bullet punch the Articuno. I also need to be able to bullet punch the Terrakion. Um, so like those are two things that I have to keep this thing around for. 
I'm hoping he stays in and I'm hoping it goes for like a an iron head, anything but a U-turn. Cool. Okay. I'm just gonna click Lariat. I'm not gonna not gonna really think too much about it. If he goes into the Terrakion, I still put it in range of uh, Bullet Punch. It's like I've clicked U-turn a lot. I don't put it in range of Bullet Punch, but I do I do get a really big hit off on this thing, which is perfect. It's dead, that's what I needed. Good job, Zarude, good job. What a good monkey, man. What a good monkey. Okay, so now the next time that I set up the rain, it needs to be on a turn where I know I'm gonna die. Toothless. Brother? U turn doesn't kill me. Actually, it does if he's. I just realized I have Sylveon on the screen. I don't have Sylveon. Um, I'm gonna go directly into my duck. I'm not gonna risk it. Just realized I actually don't have Sylveon. That was a rude. That's funny. Okay. U-turn. Yeah. I think he might be scarfed. 172. Do I live a hit from Terrakion? I doubt it. I'm gonna go into this. Because I don't think the Mydragalgy is as important. Especially if they're like banded into close combat or scarfed into close combat or something. They go for SD. Okay. I'm gonna click Dragon Tail just in case they're gonna try to double dance up on me. They do hit the Stone Edge, which is unfortunate. Okay. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go directly into my Zarude, because Power Whip kills. Right. Do I click Power Whip or do I click U-Turn? I'm gonna click Power Whip. I know it's super obvious, but I really, really don't want to mess around with this thing. Like, if I click U-Turn, I have to sack something. Like, yeah. And I hit, which is great. Are they sashed? They're not. Amazing. Brachion's down. Zarude is looking like he can win with Rock Slide Spam. Zarude is looking like he can win with that spam. I'm gonna go hard into my duck. And here's why. They are sub quiver dance. Right? They have to get up to plus four. They're regular quiver dance. I will beat them 1v1. Cover in my face, please. Give me the special attack boost. And a side shock. Let's see if this breaks sub. If this breaks sub, they're like just max HP.
cool. I'm going to now click Psych Up, expecting the Roost. And I'll be at plus one, plus one, plus one. Let's see if, si does this go through sub? I don't know if it does. It does. Let's go. Side shot, this always breaks sub. I'm now doing 35 to 41 is what I'm doing this thing now. This P2, it, a lot of people think P2 is really passive, right? A lot of people think P2 is super passive and it is, <laughs> but you just have to know how to not allow things to set up on you. Like you have to prep for them properly. And like whenever I saw that they had a Dragapult, I knew for a fact that um, like sub was gonna be super, super scary versus me. But I'm at plus one, plus one, plus one. And so are they. I'm going to click Sci Shock here a couple more times. I think they're going to sub. They go for Flamethrower right out the gate. Okay, that's good. They're doing nothing. And they get the Burn Brother. What? This is 35 to 41. Nice. I have limited them to a single Quiver Dance, which is what the goal was. Never allow them to get up more than one. They might roost here, which would be fine. Yep. I think this is just going to be a really long, like not stall fest, but it's going to be really annoying for him because even at like, like he has to be super, super boosted behind a sub to have a chance at like two shot of me with me never psyching up. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to click recover. I realize he might click sub here. I don't care. He clicks flamethrower. That's cool. I get the recover off. I'm going to start clicking foul play a little bit. So I want him to get behind a sub. I want him to get up another Quiver Dance. Like, that's the goal, right? Actually, no, it's not the goal. It's not the goal. I don't know what I'm saying. So I need to limit him to one. So here's what I'm going to do. Because I don't really want to play around with this. Actually, no. I really need to do it on a turn. Okay, let's see. What is he at right now? So he's below 50. There is no shot. He's either clicking Roost. I'm going to do this. I'm going to play aggressively. I don't feel like sitting here for the next like 20 minutes doing this. Because he's never going to boost up again. This for Roost. Cool. Now I get the Rock Slide off and I get this thing out of my face. Cool. And if I'm able to get the, what's he going into? Okay, that has a little bit of bulk in it. I'm going to sack off my bug.
What I want to do is I want to get in my Thunderous versus the Volcarona. Scizor versus Volcarona. I'm going to click U-turn here. Because if he clicks Flamethrower, we're going to do the exact same song and dance. Yep. I'm going to click U-turn. Goes for sub. Mm. Could be worse. Lucked out on that one, brother. I really lucked out on that one. You guys want to see a madman play? You guys want to see an absolute madman play? Is it worth it? Yes, it is. Because I see how I can win with my... Um, with my frog and rain. All I need to do is I need to get a really good hit off on the Dragapult. He stays in. Damn it. Got me. But he can't sub. That's good. Goes for Flamethrower. That's also fine. That is 100% fine. He did get me there. But... I can now click Earthquake. And I kill this thing. And if Dragapult comes in on the Earthquake. Like even if he roosts up. He won't be able to do anything to me. Like Earthquake. It, he has. I don't think he has very much Fizz Def. Earthquake is still doing 51 to 61. And I outsped him which is amazing. Let's freaking go dude. Good job. Now, I don't want to do this end game. I'm gonna freeze dry me. Am I okay with that? I am not okay with that. I'm gonna go hard into this because he shouldn't be able to touch me too too much. Like I should be able to recover and then. Hmm. U turn. Okay, this is fine. Because I'm at 75. Thirty-nine percent versus Dragapult. He kept bringing it out on what was very clearly a choice scarf mon. So I think this is also a choice scarf. Draco Meteor does 29% maximum. I can recover this off. I'm at 64 actually. What am I at? I'm at 34%. I'm gonna recover up. Cool. At least get this thing super healthy. And luckily, I don't think he can break this thing now. Like, even by pressure stalling me, I don't think he can... I don't think he can beat me with this. Okay. I'm going to click recover once. Then I'm going to go scissor. Hurricane, he hits. Who hits? Who hits? What do you mean? And he gets the confusion too, which sucks.
How much does Hurricane do to me? I'm way up on time. He really got me with that one play, though. I, how much is my Scizor at? Man. I want to get this thing chipped a little bit. Unfortunately, I also know that he can't just beat this outright. Like, I know, I know he can't. Can you like not? Okay. Going to click recover. I actually don't think that my way of winning this is with my Seismitoad. Um, I'm just going to click Foul Play until I die. He's only clicking Hurricane, so and he clicked U-turn before. I don't think, I don't think he's scarfed, but like, and click Side Shock again. Just for freeze dry. Okay, he's trying to catch me. This is where I'm going to go into my scissor. This is where I'm going to do it. And I'm doing it here because he's either going to roost or he's going to click freeze dry again, I think. If he clicks roost, I get off a bullet punch and a bullet punch does 59 to 70, the max HP. I do live a hurricane, right? I do live a hurricane if it's not offensive. It is offensive, it's a roll. But I'm gonna go for bullet punch. This does 59 to 70. Nice, he has max HP. He hits the hurricane, does this kill? It does not kill, let's go! Don't get parried. Just don't get parried, it's that simple. Don't get parried. Come on brother, just do not get parried, Scizor. Por favor, don't get parried. Por favor. If he goes into Dragapult. Bullet Punch is 44 to 52. doing it again. Come on. Come on, Scizor. Let's go! Scizor! Through adversity, through trials and tribulations, my Scizor! Oh my god. Scizor is such a fun mod to use. If you have never used Scizor, you need to use it. Now. He needs to hit a hurricane. <laughs> Freeze dry might kill me, actually. He doesn't even get the chance to because Scizor! Scizor is so good! Scizor is so good! Oh my god, what a good freaking game, dude. What a phenomenal game to my buddy. Holy crap, guys. Go check him out. His links will be down in the description below. That was a phenomenal game. Shout out to Scizor, picking up the finest of kills. Great game. He really got me with the Volcarona play. If uh, if I clicked Rock Slide there, uh, I think that was I think Rock Slide was honestly the better play because then I would have gotten the chip damage off on the Dragapult. But I just wanted to I wanted to I wanted to make a play, man. <laughs> but either way, that was a phenomenal game. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next battle. Bye bye.